Hi everyone, welcome to another video and hopefully in two more weeks time the circuit breaker measure will finally end. I hope everybody is coping well at home and hopefully everything will be back to normal in June. The main question that many people seem to be asking me since my last video is uh, why are people still buying new launches? Most of the people asking me this also wonder shouldn't shouldn't be the resale market will be more popular meh now because new launches are normally big ticket items that can easily cost more than a million or to a couple million dollars of a, for a property. With that, many people will think that the demand for the resale market wouldn't be higher since the transaction volume for the resale market has dropped and there is a price differences between the resale and the new launches. Not to mention, most of the resale units are already having virtual viewings and people are adopting well with these new virtual viewing methods by conducting the home tour on Zoom. Hence, people will think that the developers will start giving mega discount. But so far, that isn't happening. I had explained this a bit in my previous video before why most developers probably are likely to be cutting price. But another reason may also surface uh, with our MND, Mr. Lawrence Wong, mentioning that the construction cost may increase after the COVID-19 circuit breaker. So I will add the links below for you to check out the article as well as my previous video. So that is why today I wish to answer this question. Why are people still buying new launches? And even without physically visiting the show flat, while right now they are all closed, as compared to go for a resale, why is it so? One of the main reasons which new launch have while resale do not have is the leveraging on the time with the progressive payment. So let's say you are buying a $1.3 million property and your loan at 75% will be 9,000, 900,000 and if at 30 years loan to annual will, with a 1.5% interest rate, your money installment will sum up to be 3,364 per month. So the thing is this, if you buy a resale unit straight after your sales completion, uh, which usually took around 3 months, you will have to straight away service your money installment at the full sum. But if you are buying a new launch, your money installment is based on the progressive payment upon the loan disbursement during the construction period. So an example here is, based on the same $1.3 million property, and the same amount of the loan at 75%, uh, 975000 the initial years of the money installment is relatively low. Because it is based on stages, so only when the development built to a certain point, uh, part of your loan will be dispersed to the developer. I break it down onto this table, so hopefully it is easier for you to understand. So at the beginning stage, when the developer complete the foundation work, your money installment is only $224. Then after 6 months or later, when the developer progress to complete the reinforced concrete, then your second stage loan will be dispersed, and your installment will then become 672 Then another around another 6 months or later, is 1,121. So in this way, the buyer actually only pay a small amount for the installment during the first one or two years time. Even all the way till you collected the keys on TOP, you will still not be serving the full amount yet, which is at 2,691. Only upon CSC, and that is usually one year after TOP, then you will be serving the full amount for your installment at 3,364. So that is why new launchers have the leverage to buy time 
for you to save up some reserve fund while you're waiting to collect your keys. And currently, some projects are actually TOP in 2021, 2022, or even at 2023, which can be three years later. And by then, uh, probably the COVID-19 is already over. And hopefully, everything has recovered by then. So this will greatly help the buyer uh, will be easier to sustain or to tie over difficulties if anything happen, happen during this COVID-19 pandemic, which, which is much safer comparing to buy a resale. Because you will need to pay a full amount of installment straight away. Which means is, if anything happened during this crisis, uh, if there is a sudden job loss or insufficient reserve fund to tie over, and may end up need to sell the property, which I really would not want my customer to fall into this situation. Therefore, but I'm, I'm not saying that we cannot buy resale. Please don't get me wrong. There are still good opportunity and good deals out there for resale. Probably I can share more in my next video. So lastly, why people are buying without going to the show flat, especially during this circuit breaker? Cause what is, what is important? Because most important is the facts, ma. Whether the facts make sense or not. Cause going to the show flats ah, is just emotion. All the show flat will definitely be very nice one. So it's the facts and the numbers must make sense. And if the people understand, and that is why there are still people buying new launches. So I really hope this sharing ah, can help you have uh, some understanding about property market today. Although maybe very briefly, but I hope it is useful to you and I really wish to cover more. So, but I also wish not to be too long-winded. Uh. So please share to anyone who you feel it is useful to them as well. And please comment below if you like to ask any question. I will do my best to answer all your questions if possible. So this come to the end of my video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. As always, stay home and stay safe.